kind of like firecrackers. Pop, 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 pop. Locked down in the gas lamp, people drop to the ground after shots ring out on a busy street, and an undercover officer was behind the deadly fire. Those gunshots erupted after investigators say the man pulled out what appeared to be a pistol. 10 News has team coverage. We begin with 10 News reporter Jessica Chan, who minutes ago got brand new video capturing the moment it all turned deadly. Jessica. That's right. In this video you are about to see, you can actually hear the gunshots being fired and the police officer yelling. And all this happened here at this intersection where the victim was killed. Now, in this video, you'll only see on 10 News, you can hear the gunshots and right after, passerby ducking for cover. The witness who took this video told 10 News he first heard yelling and then multiple rounds being fired. He said he saw police continue to shoot at the man as he tried to sit up. Witnesses say right after the shooting, the scene wasn't of chaos. He says people were simply in disbelief that something like this happened downtown. It's just like, again, it sounded like a pretty routine thing that they were just dealing with somebody, telling him to get on the ground. Then you heard the officer yell, shots fired, and I didn't hear anything until they started shooting. Now, several hours after the shooting, police are still out here investigating, and they will likely be out here for a few more hours. But for now, reporting in downtown San Diego, Jessica Chen, 10 News. We know you'll stay on top of it, Jessica. Thank you. Our team coverage continues with 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina. Steve, investigators are going to be out there well into the night tonight. They certainly are. We saw them just a few minutes ago examining very closely and taking pictures of the weapon still lying in the street just beyond that yellow police tape out there. Now, this began a little after 2 o'clock this afternoon as two motorcycle officers who were on uh, patrol saw the man causing problems with traffic. They tried to shut him down, started chasing him, and uh, the homicide captain tells us what happened then. Um, the officers followed him. As they went to contact him, the suspect actually was still running a little ways from them. Suspect turned, pulled a large frame semi-auto pistol from his waistband and pointed at the officers, at which point the officers then fired upon the suspect. That wasn't the end of it, though. He tried to sit up, and again, they said, pointed the weapon at them. That's when they opened fire on him again. We've heard witnesses, several witnesses, saying they heard a pop or several pops, and then a little pause, and then another half a dozen or so pops. Firecrackers, gunshots, they were all kind of unclear as to what they thought they heard, but when they found out, many people stunned this afternoon. Gas lamp still shut down. The investigation expected to go. Now, the police did have body cameras on their bodies, but they were not turned on. There is a lot of surveillance video, though, eyewitnesses with cell phones and many uh, cameras on buildings down here. They will be part of the investigation as well. Live downtown, Steve Fiorina, 10 years. A frightening scene for people there. Steve, thank you.